this. Um, really, Vivi is, you know, top talent level in New York and Whirlpool washing machine, tap soda from Long Island, I believe. Um, really solid at the game as well. Has been slowly improving um, every time that he has come to Zeno. Yeah, and they're finding more ways to get to events, whether it be via carpools or just more access. They've been coming to a lot of fusions over in New Jersey as well, so just grinding up against top talent across the board. And I mean, Vivi's, of course, no exception, but this oomph is really going to put Vivi in a bad spot, taking the spell, but also taking a ton of damage because of it. And yeah, responded in kind, though, already back at that 70% margin. However, as we all know, Yoshi's combo game, Yoshi's frame data can be oppressive to a character that is as slow um, as Hero is in frame data and in speed. Uh, oh, shit. Oh, he lived. And you heard, you heard the bounce effect, but you don't see the bounce. Just the egg got uh, catching BB wow. right before it. And there's the back air on shield. Just so good with those three hits and all three of them so deadly. Yeah, and right now in a great position uh, at the moment is uh, Tap Soda. Uh, looking really solid. Um, Thus far in this game, number one, and this is going to be damaged as well. Back at that great combo starter. However, that up air, up air, not confirming. Wow, Ooh. just the call out on the egg like that dash forward. And again, it really shows that Vivi's very reliant on shield right now, and on shield and on parries in order to get past ta uh, Tabs out his defense, finally choosing a roll, or uh, you could also perform a spot dodge in order to get through those. And all the same, he's able to find that kill with an up tilt. Yeah, and really all the buffs on deck right now uh, for, for Vivian. This is going to be some decent damage, 21%. That uh, Psycho did just run out right there, of course. Um, ooh, yes. Yoshi's incredible aerial drift could be able to catch that run in. Uh, that down are covering so much space. But Accelerado back on deck, Vivian. Such a huge component uh, in this matchup in terms of winning the neutral. Yeah, Vivi's a hook. Absolutely a buff style of hero where they're not looking for projectiles as much. They're looking to spend it on things like bounce, psych up, oomph, and accelerado all over the place just to continuously augment who you're playing against and how scared you have to be. But you always have to be scared of Yoshi when they're running up and shielding at you. The double jump armor fights through the kaboom. That is so unfortunate. Uh. But the second one <laughs> takes the cake. <laughs> not twice. Um, but yeah, no, Yoshi, that thing with that, that up there, that, that last stock, it's actually frame 5 and frame 8 out of shield. Yeah. So, like, super fast option. That hitbox is humongous. So, Yoshi can kind of abuse that as a kill option out of shield, which normally we kind of don't think Yoshi has. But yeah, that up air out of shield is definitely one. Uh, ooh, egg roll. Getting a little bit of percent. Normally, uh, better to get something than nothing with that. Oh, yeah. It's uh, not often seen. But there we see the whoosh out of shield. That frame four out of option out of shield. But the same thing happens for Tap Soda, who's looking for it all with that F smash. But just just landing on the platform is Vivi. Yep. And trying to contest Tap Soda in the air has been troublesome to say the least. That whole conversion came out of Yoshi pancaking under hero jab. Yep. Um, so like Yoshi has the pancakes. I know Pikachu obviously our well-known pancaker, but um Yoshi getting under jab and getting a huge amount of percent out of a single combo. And boom, that uh, bounce is going to be really nice for Vivi uh, in this situation. Uh, really allowing him to get around those eggs with a little bit of ease. So we're going to see if Vivi, with Psych up on deck, is going to be able to take the stock uh, away from Whirlpool Wash Machine in a quick fashion. Because that's what's going to need to happen for him to win this set. Oh, choosing to go for Accelerado that time and breaking the double jump armor, going for it all, but jab to, taps out only choosing to get a jab or a grab afterward. There's the thwack, really trying to expend it. Of course, any sort of whack or thwack connecting is going to be a uh, a weighted coin flip in Vivi's favor, but that kill confirm is a 100% guaranteed after the sp spiking fair. Clean conversion from Tab So Yeah, and I believe that was on a spot dodge read. I just want to double check and see. Get back air. Oh, no. Jump read, cover the back air, oh, and the dash, dash back. Away. Okay. Yoshi's yep. hitboxes are huge. Look at look at how we're gonna we're gonna go back a little bit. Pause. Back. Look at how much this covers. Yeah, and that's part of that's just because look how much Yoshi moved. Look, Yoshi's oh, ability is crazy. This. Yeah, like Yo Yoshi's ability is kind of insane. Um, covering so much space, and of course, Fair's hitbox is also incredibly generous as well. Um, so that just covered it like almost every option, including stay in place. Uh, had to have, have dashed out and then rolled out to get out of that situation, and was not able to. Was Vivi, however, going to the start of this game already, starting off with a side B to make that uh, neutral situation a little bit easier. And like, uh, I think we'll be seeing more side B in general um, in this game as Vivi tries to slow it down just a little bit. 
Yeah, I feel like the Zap series, Zap and Zapple specifically, are just so important to Hero's kit if you are leaning more towards buffs because it takes the place of the projectiles without having to worry about like clanking or reflecting at all. It's just a massive vertical hitbox. But so is that Kaboom. And if you find Kaboom, might as well use it. And if you find an air dodge, might as well punish it yeah. because that is a psych up up tilt, which is going to close the stock a slow, but a guaranteed zero to death. Yeah, and needless to say, um, you know, Psycho, or rather, Kaboom is one of those moves that in a vacuum is just flat out one of the best moves in the game. Um, and, and Invivi is using it uh, thus far. Okay, all right, okay. <laughs> We're rolling pretty high right now on those kabooms. The wind box almost screwed over and taps out more yes. than the actual hitbox, pulling him away from the ledge. Luckily, he had saved his jump, but this is a... Vivi's, I guess, figured something out playing against this Yoshi, meeting Tap Soda in the air a lot with these much quicker nares and going for a lot more sizzle and oh, kaboom just because no, they're there. Oh, we're not back. Yeah, only there was... went for the level two whoosh. Yeah, it's... and there was... Oh, my goodness gracious. Uh, thank you. I mean, uh, Washing Machine really has been DIing those pretty well, getting right into the quarter every time. That sizzle though, still not enough. But one thing I have noticed, and you mentioned this as well, is that Vivi really has um, started to play the the air to air game a whole lot more, um, utilizing that nair, those big hitboxes. And we know that Yoshi has big hitboxes, but uh, Hero has a sword, and a lot of those times, what's well, going to beat those big hitboxes is that sword, and you saw that right there. Yeah, that clean disjoint on top of the buffs. But when he, uh, when Yoshi gets that starter, a quick eighty is sure to follow. These up air chains are so brutal, but. I mean, you still have the stock lead, but that, basically that lead was cut in half. Great dash in, covering a lot with that quick jab. It's something that uh, uh, Vivi goes for often because that rising jab can often function as a little bit of an anti-air against a common option, that being jump oh, out of dead. shield. Bye. Yeah. Oh, oh and a crit. crit. <laughs> oh, crit. Yeah, I mean, he was super dead anyway. Um, <laughs> but yeah, the, the crit's just a cher cherry on top. And there you see, and I want to go back to this, the kind of um, burst range of a Celeradal here being so, so tricky. So you get the normal confirmed Nair and Fair, right? That's Celeradal. And then Vivi kind of fades in a little bit on this next fair. He kind of goes this way just a little bit on this next fair, drifts back. And now Yoshi's put in a situation where you have to drift in to get back to stage. And that snooze covered all of this space here on the bottom. Not many choices that Yoshi could have made that were safe. Yeah, on top of that, I believe what And then Yoshi gets snoozed yeah. and crit. On top of the fact that it covers also air dodge in as yes. well because of the lack of snapping to ledge. So just a real, definitely between a rock and a hard place was Tab Soda as they go immediately back to PS2. Despite Yoshi's story being open and Yoshi doing so well on triplats as well as Battlefield being open, looks like Tab Soda is very invested on the amount of space he wants to play in, which PS2 gives you a lot of. Yeah, and it is kind of two camps for Yoshi players in terms of what stage they like to play on. Um, I know that, for example, Raptor really prefers PS2 as opposed to those smaller stages. Um, I think it kind of just depends on play style. And I think, generally speaking, I know we've been speaking a lot about Vivi's play style, um, but what will Washing Machine on, on the whole... You died. You died. <laughs> Forget what I'm saying. You wi Oh, you whiffed your f tilt attempting to punish me? Perish. <laughs> <laughs> Says, uh, yeah, that, that move is um, kind of ludicrous in terms of how strong it is. As Guaranteed it crit. Be. Yeah, and um, that is going to be Vivi taking game number one. And that has to be at least a, a little bit demoralizing. That stock number one uh, could have been a lot for Whirlpool Lost Machine. It was going pretty well up until that point. And now Vivi is looking in an excellent position thus far. Back air break shields now, by the way. He has both oomph and psych up online, but instead just falling for an air, trying to keep himself safe you still have so much coverage with this up tilt, and it really looks like Vivi has turned a corner when it comes to the Yoshi matchup right now. Oh. But the egg almost finding the stock, and that was a dead Yoshi. That is a dead Yoshi, despite how light that Accelerado makes you. It also makes you blisteringly fast, able to get to the ground and find the stock. Yeah. This is looking a little oh, bit the mix. Okay. Oh, no oh mix. we're living though. Here's got the weight on him. Um, Zooms back to the stage. I think one of the issues that I think, generally speaking, that Vivi has cut on to is how much uh, Tab Soda likes to drift in uh, with the aerials. Um, and Vivi's just taking advantage of that by preemptively clicking big hitboxes with that sword. We've seen the F smash. We saw the Hatchet Man earlier. Kind of uh, things that normally you would not see, but big hitboxes, and they're catching the drift in. Oh, yeah. Able to strike a little bit more preemptively. Oh, you're dead to a throw. Yeah. yeah you're, you're Thanks, gone. Vivi. Uh, <laughs> you, you see him walk forward. It's it's really funny to watch how 
players will change their stance once they realize, oh, I can get a kill throw here yeah. because they just stay so much more grounded. Literally walking forward Boink. into the shield, into the dash. Yeah, very clean stuff. And it's so scary because, like, you're up against um, Psycho Hero. Mm -hmm. And, like, that character, um, if it hits you with anything past the 100% mark, there's a good chance you're just dying. Um, it's like your natural instinct is to shield. And Vivi took full advantage of that. It's like, aha, you're going up. And hey, if you're jumping out of shield as well, that's yep. free reign for Hero's massive up tilt with that same psych up boost. It, a ridiculous spot to be in as Lila is the pick, okay. and I don't hate it. Yeah. So with Smashville banned, and that's exactly where the uh, where it looks like Tab Soda wants to play at. Lila is an excellent substitute for, uh, for Smashville, often playing very similar because of the evenly spaced platforms and the mult in the only two levels of gameplay. You're either pressuring high or pressuring low, and either way, it's two tab sodas at uh, favor. But the same way, bounce is always going to be in Vivi's favor because you just don't have to worry about eggs. Yeah, and ooh, ooh, the platform lane clearly has been working out for Tap Soda. Being able to kind of shark those platforms, uh, Yoshi's uh, short hop is pretty good for sharking those with the up air. Um, and really, it's been tough to get back, yeah, you know, kaboom. Uh, <laughs> get back to, to get back down to the ground. Um, however, though, um, it is currently uh, Tap Soda's in the lead, and they are going to get a little bit of a combo right here. 22%. Ooh, and those yes. platforms are coming into bite. Uh, Tap Soda there at the end, uh, giving Vivi an opportunity to attack that combo situation. And it is going to be Vivi who takes that stock and is now right back into this game. 40% now, and there's the Accelerado into the dashback zap as well, holding on for so much quick damage off of a very little commitment. Yeah, the same thing can be said. These just huge up air combos are always going to be the difference, mentor, difference maker for Tab Soda, able to find so much damage off a single interaction, yet Vivi has been clamping down on how many interactions Tab Soda has been winning. Yet this is a very even game right now. Ooh, Ooh okay. kill. Off stage. Okay, and then off to the grab ledge there. Might have been a misinput. Um, however, um, it does let Vivi back to stage and get a heal and get that percent lead right back. Not that I think we're going to be seeing a timeout anytime soon. Um, ooh, but that is going to be a huge punish on that up smash. A uh, little bit um, clearly anxious to get the kill there was um, Tab Soda, and it is going to cost them their second stock and put Vivi in a great position. We've seen what Vivi has been able to do with the stock lead. Oh, yeah, and that was, I believe, the second time we've seen Vivi use down tilt, which is not a fairly frequently used move from Hero, but it's a important in their kit because it is a quick grounded poke that uh, proved its effectiveness in those niche situations because while Tab Soda is spending a lot of time in the air, it's almost because he's being forced to and that little bit of conditioning can help Vivi connect more and more up tilt yeah, and died. more and more uh, psych up crit F smashes. Sure, why not? That was, I don't know if that one was a crit, but it was definitely, I don't, I don't know if I heard the sound. I thought I, I thought I heard the maybe, sound. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. I honestly don't remember. But um, frankly, I think the, the, the crazy, yeah, like you could see Tab Soda just drifting in. And Vivi was just ready. Ooh. Vivi, well, Vivi is really good, and I've played Vivi a decent amount. Is Vivi is so good at catching aggression and kind of like, ah, this is my net. Come fall into it. You're gonna get hit by whatever is in the net. Um, and Vivi, yeah, Vivi's not afraid to just drift back at all and just kind of hit you. Oh, yeah. um, with that said, are we gonna switch off, Devin, or are we gonna are we gonna stay on for right now? As as bars the journey is missing. Bars the journey. If please you, report to production. If you have uh, seen bars, please tell him to. Uh, don't be fooled. Find bars. Find bars. Where's bars? Free bars.